So if I want to check the positive battery cable voltage drop, or I set my meter to volts. voltage drop, I'm going to check, set it to voltage, right? DC volts. So I can look at that problem. DC volts. Now let's hook one end to the positive post. Then where do I hook the other end to? Ground. Where the back, where it goes to. The battery cable connects to the starter, right? That's my positive battery cable. Okay, is it reading anything right now? Is there anything happening in that cable right now? So that means to do a voltage drop test, something has to be happening, right? So when does that battery cable do its biggest job? While cranking, right? So I need to crank it. So can I get somebody to help me here? Anybody? This, what I want you to do is hold the meter. I'm going to disable the ignition or the starting capability of this vehicle and crank the vehicle. We're going to watch that voltage. Should crank but not start. We're going to watch that voltage. This should be less than a half a volt. It should be less than 0.5 volts. Here we go. What was it? 0.19. 0.19. 0 0.19. Is that less than 0.5? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So that, that's how to do a, a voltage drop on the positive battery cable. To do a voltage drop on the negative battery cable. I move my leads to the negative side of the battery. Then where does the negative battery cable connect on this unit? Connects to the starter. Now where does it connect on a light duty vehicle? To the engine block. Yeah, it connects to the engine block. So on a light duty vehicle, I just go from the battery negative to the engine block. But on this one, it goes to the starter. So I'm going to go to the starter. Is there anything on the meter there? Why not? There's no current going through the lead right now. This, this test should also be less than a half a volt. So I crank the vehicle, watch it, should be less than a half a volt. All right? Here we go. Point one four. Okay, so it passed both tests. If I had a a stronger wire. If I had a bad battery cable, then that's going to be more than a half volt. So if you're testing a battery cable, positive or negative, it goes up to you know, one volt, two volt, three volts. I've got a cable that's not able to deliver that current without dropping voltage. A good battery cable should drop less than 0.5 volts. Okay? So that's how to check your battery cable. Another thing you need to be able to do is to check the charging circuit. The charging circuit is the second largest amp circuit on a vehicle. The largest amp circuit is your battery cables while cranking. The next largest cable on the vehicle is going to be your charging wires. So we want to make sure those wires have the ability to carry the current without dropping the voltage. So we check the positive charging circuit by going from the charging output stud to the battery positive post. We put that here to the charging output set. The other lead down to the battery positive post. I need to make the vehicle start, so I'll plug my ECM up. It should start running. We're only going to let it run for five seconds or so. We're going to watch the voltage there. Ready? on this test is 0.5. Less than 0.5 passes, more than 0.5, we've got a problem. Do we have a problem? No. No, it was at 0.3, that's okay. That's the positive charging circuit test. How do we check the negative charging circuit? Go from the negative lead of the alternator, if it has one, if it doesn't have one, you just go to the case. This one does have a negative lead. So I go from the negative lead of the alternator to the battery negative terminal. I need to start the vehicle again and check the voltage drop. 
This is a heavy vehicle, so it has a negative connection on it. Most of your light duty vehicles will not have a negative wire connected to it. So if it doesn't, you go to the case, between the case and the battery negative terminal. But it still it needs to be running, so I need to start it back up and watch this. The specification is less than 0.5 volts. It's the same for the charging positive negative and the battery positive negative cables. We'll start this up. Here we go. less than 0.5 volt, that would be 500 volt. Alright? We're going to run this test anytime we've got a battery starting or charging problem. It's a good idea to run all these tests. What are you doing? Get your leads on correct? Are you working fast? You got one from positive on the battery to another one. What would your result look like? That way you could be aware of that. that if I, that's a good question, Nathan. If I've got my leads wrong, then See, I've got it now. The red leads on the output stud, the hot stud, and the black leads on negative. I'm reading battery voltage on it. So if I if I hook this up and I'm reading battery voltage and nothing's turned on, then I'm not doing this test correctly. Basically, all I'm doing is checking each wire's ability to carry its voltage while doing its load. The battery cable's biggest load is starting the vehicle. The charging output cables or wires, biggest load is while it's charging. We do it while the engine is running. Okay? Alright. Any questions? 